How's it going, Howard? Oh, fine. You know, the advance woman from her label is stopping by tomorrow. I think she's going to be really impressed. Oh, well, Angelica deserves it. Maybe she can even persuade Angelica to stop by for some publicity while she's in town. You think so? You think she'd do that? Well, look what you're doing for her. Wow, that would be really nice. I gotta get this one, it's got Nature Boy on it. But you already have it. No, I gave it to Randy, it was our song. I never gave it back. Guys. You know, if you want Nature Boy, you should take this version. It's been remastered, you can hear every breath she takes. Thanks. If you like her ballads, side two of the Starlight album, she's got some nice cuts. Thanks, but we already have the tape. Well, 
I can tell you anything you want about Angelica. It, it, it's true, I know everything. Go ahead, ask no, me. No, that's okay. Um, we're kind of busy. Yeah, we gotta split. <laughs> you ain't getting that? <laughs> Right, you did. I didn't steal it. You're not going nowhere till the cops get here. Why don't you drop dead? Believe it. Two tickets to see Angelica. And who? Ryan's latest heartthrob. She's a singer. No, she's not just a singer, Jack. She's incredible. You know how long it's been since she's played a club this small? Oh, Ryan, it's a TV broadcast. You might be able to see more watching at home. And miss a live performance? I was lucky to get these. I think we all got lucky. Look at this. Mesmer's bobble. Crystalline pendant, gold lattice frame, 18th century. Now, look at this. Police stolen property report. Item 17. Mesmer's bobble. Yeah. Stolen along with those other things from a place called Pinkman's. Mesmer was a hypnotist, wasn't he? Yes, he was. The very first. He invented the science. He used the bauble to induce trances. He also discovered that under hypnosis, you couldn't make anybody do just anything would be before Lewis got hold of it. Yes, exactly. Now, what it does is anybody's guess. Well, I better go down to the police station, see if they've got a line on the thieves. I better go with you. There might be a lot of ground to cover. Yes, 
she is. Anita Devon, this is Howard Moore. Hello. Anita's with Angelica's label. I understand you're quite a fan. She's a great artist. Well, she does sell a lot of records. Do you know her? Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I think I've got an autographed 8x10 you can have. <laughs> Why don't you show Miss Devon our inventory? Let her know what we have to back order. Sure. Something the matter? Oh, no, not at all. It, that stuff you've been using on your face is really working. Thanks. Back this way. So, how long have you worked for Angelica? Um, since the Sweet Baby album. August 86. That's right. You are a fan. I'm her best fan. <laughs> Do you see her a lot? Well, now and then. But she does have about 70 people traveling with her. Now, let me see. Um, here we go. Wouldn't do for a best fan to be without an autograph. Thanks. What's that? That's my backstage pass. We've been on tour for quite a while. Yeah, 28 weeks, 106 cities. She must be really exhausted. Yeah. This TV special is the big finale. She talks to you, doesn't she? Well, if she can sing, she can talk, right? But you know her, don't you? I mean, you know about her? Yeah. So? Can I ask you a couple of things about her? It's important. <laughs> OK, sure. <laughs> Does, does she sleep naked? What kind of a question is that? No, I, I want to know. I, I want to know everything you know about her. What are you, another one of those wacko fans? No, no, I'm not like them. I, I really want to know what she's like. Tell me. Tell me what it's like to be around her. Tell me what, what she smells like. Tell me what her, her skin feels like. Uh, listen, buddy, why don't uh, you just tell me about the albums that you need and let me get out of here? No, you don't understand. I need to know. I need to know what she likes. I need to know what kind of man turns her on. Ones that don't look like you, OK? Now, let me out of here. No. I said, let me out of here. You let me out of here. I guess I'll have to find out on my own. I don't need you or your lousy picture. I'm going to have her. It's a nice day out, Anita. Yes. Why don't we go for a walk? Yes. Finished already? Say goodbye to Mrs. Burns. Goodbye, Mrs. Burns. Goodbye? But I I thought we 
no play in the traffic. Don't be afraid of it. Just keep walking. Make me someone she'll notice. Is this the way to the stage? Thanks. Checking one, two. Checking one, two, three, four. Can you hear me? Check. Check one, two. Testing one, two. How's it sound the house, Kurt? Honor. Angelica, I'd like to sing something. Get those lights up on stage. Get them focused down. Picture The modern. Try running that new set of speaker wires. I already did. So speed of line two. Come on, Freddy. those lights. Okay, folks, let's get ready for the next number. Babe, okay, let's go. Kurt, over here. I just want to know, are we going to be ready? It's all I'm asking. We'll be ready. Well, you better be, or you'll be on a playback to Liverpool tomorrow. Babe, come on, let's go. Quick. Okay. Can we, can we fix their monitor? Yeah, I can't hear you. fantastic. I was the guy. Who the hell are you? Uh, Howard Moore. Come on, people. Replacing we Anita Devon. Who? Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you do a better job. Roger. Come on, let's get you in the costume. It's a pleasure to meet you, Angelica. Pleased. There's so many things we have to talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, okay, right after the show, okay? Let's get changed, come on. Hey, buddy, dressing rooms are off limits, okay? Didn't the company ever tell you that? Come on. Record sales are gonna go through the roof after this performance, and they hire some starstruck pretty boy. Oh, relax, Roger. Yeah. He seems very nice. Now, this is over. We're cutting a new deal with a different label. <laughs> Mr. Zimmerman? What? I'm sorry, but we got some fans blocking the loading docks. Now, if Angelica could sign a few autographs... She hasn't got time for that, okay? Just call some cops and move them. Let's go. Roger, what? Show me where they are, please. Thank you. Tighten it up. We're coming down to the back door. Thank God it's a zoo out here.
City must be out there. Now we're behind schedule. I hope you're satisfied. Now the whole crew's waiting for you. You know, you gotta stop dropping everything every time a fan wants an autograph. There's too many of them now. Relax, Roger. I'll be ready in a minute. Mm -hmm. Relax. I'm a candidate for a double bypass. I hear you, Roger, but they're my fans. Besides, where would I be without them? Well, you're not gonna stay where you are unless you concentrate on what you're doing. You're hot right now, baby. Let's make the most of it. Look, they have a right to some consideration. Baby, baby, when are you gonna learn? All they have a right to is your music. That's it. Is that right? Yeah. Save your personal time for the people around you. That's why it's called personal. It's a business. You took possessive, aren't you? Possessive? I'm just looking out for your interests. My interests are yours. No. What's good for you is good for me, huh? You know, when this is over, we're gonna go to Fiji and take a nice long rest. It's good for me, it's good for you. Why don't you just paint it like a regular person? What's this? Mr. Pinkman? Fine. 20 years I've paid my premiums. My first claim, you stiff me. What? You go tell your company that Henry Pinkman is through with him. We're not from the insurance company. The police sent us over. They found the rest of my merchandise? Well, they caught the thieves and most of the stolen goods. Almost. Were... Not all. Some cops, huh? Well, that's what we're here about. There's a piece still missing, Mesmer's bobble. Well, one of those hooligans probably gave it to his girlfriend. You know, I told him, grill the bastards, sweat it out of them. Well, the police don't think they had time to fence anything. Yeah, yeah, I know how you feel about it, Mr. Pinkman, but is there any possibility that the bobble wasn't stolen? What are you talking about? That kid saw the whole thing, said they, they cleaned out my window. Was that the witness, um, Howard Moore? I don't know his name, he was an ugly kid. Bad face, pimples, he saw it all. He saw the robbery and the, the jogger with the heart attack. Yeah, we heard about that, that was strange. Hmm. What's strange? I was here, it would have been me had a heart attack. Now, I'll tell you something. This city's not a safe place no more. Thanks for your help. Sure. Nice talking to you. So how long does it take? Details and do a full dress tomorrow. I'll take you back to the hotel. Thanks, okay? love. Thanks. Super, babe. Just be a little more stuckle on the opening. You know? I mean, that's what we're selling here. You were fabulous. No one sings like you. Oh, I want to thank you for letting me be here. For the music. Don't you have something better to do, Howard? Huh? You should be out selling records, not hanging around here. Now get lost. Come on. Roger, you didn't have to say that. He was only trying to thank you. Yeah, right. He just wants to bring you home and thank your brains out. Excuse me. There you go. I don't know where he is. He just called up this morning and said he was quitting. Do you know what? No. It's understandable, though. Working here wasn't easy for him. Kids razzing him about his looks. Then yesterday. What happened? That poor girl. She worked for Angelica. Came here to see the display he built. He was talking to her one minute and. The next, she just walked right out in front of a truck. Thank you very much, Mrs. Burns. What is it with this guy? Everywhere he goes, somebody dies.
He's got no right to keep us apart. I saw the way you looked at me. I know what you want. Yes? Howard Moore? That's right. What can I do for you? You witnessed a robbery the other night? Mm -hmm. uh, did you happen to notice a pendant, a, a stone on a gold chain? Uh, the only thing I noticed was broken glass. Um, what's it to you? Um, it's been in my family for generations. We're searching for it. Well, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see it. Now, if you don't mind, very busy. Ryan, there's something weird going on here. That is not an ugly man. I know. Now, if he was the only witness to the robbery and they didn't steal the bauble, then he must have... Maybe that has something to do with the change in his appearance. Did you see in that apartment? It's plastered with posters of that singer. Well, Angelica? Maybe she's the motive. A second now. We don't know if he's got it even. What are we gonna do? Well, let's see where she's staying. If he wants her, he'll find her eventually. There's something I have to show you. Yeah, well, uh, I'm busy right now, okay? Call me tomorrow. Look. Look, if you don't... Get... Out of... Why don't you finish your shave, Roger? Shave? Close one. Shave. No water. Just the razor. That's very good, Roger. Closer. A little closer. Now, don't forget your throat, Roger. Your throat. That's it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> be her lover. What's going on? What happened? Someone committed suicide. Who? The bellhop said it was Angelica's manager. Oh, you know what these rock and roll types are like? They're always killing themselves. No pictures, please. She wants her privacy. Though police found no suicide note, Howard Moore, an associate of the victim, said he had recently been depressed. Just before Howard killed him. You check his apartment? He spent the whole night making funeral arrangements for Roger. What a pal, huh? It's got to be him, Jack. One minute he's working in a record store, the next he's almost her manager. That means he has the bauble with him. I've been doing some research. 
since Lewis got his hands on it, it's been through two owners. Now, apparently, what the bauble does, it fulfills all your deepest desires, only as long as you have possession. I'm killing to make it work. So Howard's made himself pretty and gone after the rock star that he's always idolized. You think he'll hurt her? I don't know. We do know whoever's close to her isn't safe. You've got to get down to that club. <laughs> Where's it? I took care of Roger for you. The body will be cremated. The ashes scattered from his yacht. They told me he'd always wanted that. Yes, he did. I can't do it. I can't do the show without him. What? I'm going to call it off. You can't. Your fans need you. I need to be alone. You need to do your music. Roger didn't die so you could quit. He'd want you to keep on doing what you do. You don't know what you do to people. You make their lives worth living. You give them something to dream about. You can't walk out on those people. They need you, just like you needed Roger, just like you need me. Come in. What can we do for you, Kirk? Uh, I've been with the network all morning. They said they'd understand if you want to postpone this. No, that's OK. I'll go ahead with the show. Are you sure? She's sure. I want to show you something. What? Something special. Just a minute, nobody's allowed in here. Whoa, whoa, we gotta find Angelica, it's very important. I'm sorry, you'll have to leave. No, you don't understand, we gotta find Look, her. Look, she's not even here. All right, just tell us where she's at. I don't know, she just left with her new manager. All right, all right.
what's wrong. I can't do this. This isn't what I want. Don't you want me? No. I want to be you. Angelica? Yes? Half hour, darling. We're letting the audience in. Thank you. Break a leg, darling. at the club. Yeah. Okay, people, heads up. We've got uplink to satellite. The whole world's watching. Ten minutes. So? So they wouldn't be here if Angelica wasn't safe. All right, come on, let's get to the front. Okay, everybody, this is it. He's got to be around here someplace. How are we going to see him? It's so crowded. We're coming down. Ladies and gentlemen, live round the world, here she is.
Maybe it's the way you want Try to find an explanation for this, Ryan. It's too bizarre. Zard doesn't even scratch the surface. It's in the vault. We should have saved Angelica. The answers were staring us in the face all along. How many more people are going to die because we're too slow to realize what's happening? Oh, come on, Ryan. We're not perfect. We do the best we can. We blew it, Jack. Look, what you were up against followed no strict pattern. There was no predetermined goal. It doesn't make me feel any better. Do you think that either of you could have known what was in Howard's mind? He was so twisted by his fantasy that I don't think that even he realized what he really wanted. By the time he did, it was too late. <laughs> 